Hello, I'm Denise and I'd like to show you around our platform. After you have signed in with your account information, the first page you will see on the platform is the home page. Here, on the top bar, you will find latest course updates, news and announcements. On the right hand side, you will see the upcoming due date for your next task. As you can see, your name is displayed just under the top bar on the left side. If you click on it, you will get to your own profile page where you can change the settings for your profile. It would be great if you could introduce yourself to the course community by uploading a picture and writing something about yourself. Throughout the course, you can also see your activity in this place. And here, you can check your messages. From here, you can quickly get to your team page. Just click on My Team and you will see the profiles of all your teammates. If you want to send a message to your team, click on Contact Team on the left hand side. If you'd like to get in touch with one of them if you haven't already, just click on their profile image and click on Send Message. The draft you're working on with your team members will be displayed on your team page for the course community to see once you hit the Publish button. All community members will have access to your page. Any person visiting your team page can look at your work and give you some feedback by leaving a comment once you have published a draft. If you'd like to contact your tutor, just click here. You can ask your tutor anything you would like to know. They are very eager to help. However, mind checking the forum first. You might find quick answers to many questions there. Finally, in this place we have a news feed where you can see the activities of your peers and the faculty, and links to popular resources and discussions. Now, let's move on to the section Course. This section contains all of the information regarding the course. The subsection News contains all of our course updates. Don't worry about missing any updates, they are displayed on your home page as well. Under Assignments, you will find all the information regarding the respective course phase and everything else you need to get starting working on the assignments. Note that the page will always display the current assignment you are at, as well as the deadlines. However, you can still look at previous assignments by clicking on the different assignments on the left-hand side. If you click on Study and Library, you will get to the multimedia content relevant to the assignment, including reading and video materials. The amount and resources will grow as we move throughout the course. By clicking on Discuss in Forum, you will get to the forum thread specific to the assignment, where you can discuss the respective task with the community. Right under the current assignment, you can see the titles of the upcoming ones. Their descriptions, however, will be activated as those phases begin. The next subsection is Faculty. Here you will find a list of our teachers, mentors and course moderators. If you'd like to know more about them, just click on their names or profile image. Finally, Syllabus provides all information you need about the course, the learning objectives, an overview of all assignments, and a description of how this course works. Great, now let's go to the lab. In the lab is where you will work on your assignments as a team. Let me show you around. Under the Submit area, you can edit your group submission for the assignment up until the deadline. You can save your work and another team member can pick up where you have left off. You and your group members can also embed your photos like this. Once you hit Publish, your work will appear on your team page. So, for example, assuming that in the first assignment each team member was asked to take a picture and share it with the team, then this is what you do. Share that picture with your team and your team collectively decides which picture to use and drafts the document for your submission. Here in the lab is where you would put together this group document before sending it off for peer review. Remember to save your work and also remember that it will be automatically submitted as the deadline passes. The earlier you publish your draft, the more time your peers have to comment on your team's work. Please make sure to give feedback to other team's work as well. After the deadline for the submission, you can evaluate other team's work. Now let's hit the section Library. The library contains all course resources. There are many options here. You can display resources by assignment. You can also search for specific content in this field. You can sort the resources by these four options. Or you can filter them by topic or teacher. In the section forum, you can discuss all questions, ideas and thoughts relevant to the course. Please make sure to check the descriptions of the individual forums in order to place your contribution in the right place. This helps everyone to get the answers they are looking for. Use the power of community knowledge. 
Finally, in the last page, Discovery, you can explore all members of our community from around the world. When you click Explore, all community members, all teams and all submissions will be displayed. You can also choose to display all people in the MOOC, all teams or all submissions. Alternatively, you can also search for people. So I think you're ready now. Have fun and let's get started!